after a certain time that we've estimated to use the, the asset. So you've, you buy, you bought an asset, it's going to spend five years. So after five years, you are expecting the value of that asset to be, to be less. That is what depreciation is. So how do we calculate depreciation? How do we calculate depreciation of an asset? There are different ways, there are different methods to calculate depreciation of an asset, which are straight line method, reducing balancing method, and evaluation method. These three methods, will, these three methods will be based on one, the expected time you want these assets to last. The expected time you want the assets to last. Two, how much are you going to sell this asset when, the, when you finish using it? And three, what, what, how can you measure the benefits you are able to derive from this asset? Do you understand the three things that will make us to know the kind of method we use in calculating depreciation? Is it clear? Yeah. Is it clear, please? Yes. Great. So what are the three methods? I said we have the straight line method, reducing balancing method, and evaluation method. So now we need to talk about straight line method. When I talk about straight line method, I wrote this is where the value of the depreciation is charged for each year on the same amount. So you're going to charge the same amount for depreciation for each year. So if the asset is estimated to use five years, the amount of depreciation will be the same for each year. Do you get what I'm saying there? If the value of that asset is 10,000, the cost of the asset is 10,000, and you have estimated the amount of depreciation, the amount of depreciation will be based on the same figure for the whole year of that five years. You're going to get it to the formula. So the formula for straight line method is cost of asset divided by the number of years. That means the number of expected years that that asset will use. Do we understand? Yes. So the formula is for straight lines cost of assets divided by the number of expected years of the non current asset. This is the formula. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yes. So, we have a question already here. Let's say. They said on July 1, you can write it, please. On 1 July. Write, please. They said write. 20 pages. 20. Cavita, sorry. Cavita. Twice, huh?
this form. Now we're told to calculate using the straight line method the, the amount of depreciation. We said calculate the annual depreciation charge as an amount as a percentage. Annual depreciation. So that means each year how much is charged on depreciation because it's four years. And remember in straight line method you charge the same amount for the years. Do you understand? So the formula is for the amount to be 25,000 as cost of non current assets, cost of non current assets divided by the number of years. Number of years. This is for the annual amount. Are you with me? Annual amount. So it's for the annual amount equals to not cost of the, what's the cost? $25,000, right? Yes. Divided by the number of years, four. What does that mean? 6,250. 6, so this is the annual amount of depreciation. So 6,250 times four will give you 25,000. That's clear, right? Yes. Now, the same we should calculate it as a percentage. So as a percentage, it is annual amount annual amounts over the cost of assets, cost of non-coin assets times 100. Do you get it here? The annual amount is the non-coin asset divided by number of years. Now if you have to calculate it as a percentage, it will be the annual amount that you've got in here divided by the value of that asset times 100. Are you getting it? So it will be, so as a percentage, it will be annual amount, which is what? 6,250 over 25,000, which is the cost, right? Times 100. What does that give you? Total is 25%. Times 10, you see it's 25%. Where is the calculator? Yes, sir. 25%, right? Yes. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yes. Good. You can write that, then I have this question. Write that. Most of the time, whatever assets, non current assets we buy, at the end of their working life, we tend to sell them. Yes or no? Yes. The price at which we are able to sell them is what we call the residual value. Do you understand? Yes. The price at which you sell the non current asset. After its useful or working life, is all called residual value. So, if you have estimated a residual value for your non-coin assets, when you are calculating your using when you are calculating using your straight line method, you have to take the, you have to take away the cost from the residual value. Get my point? If you have an estimated amount you are about to sell your asset after its working life or after its useful life. Whenever you have, you have to use your straight line method, you have, it has to be cost minus that residual value divided by the number of years. Do you get what I mean here? Instead of calculating it without the residual value, in as much as you have the residual value, you take it away from the cost before you calculate it. Did you get it? So look at what I wrote about residual value. I said it is the value of non current assets at the end of its working life. So your new straight line method formula will be. For the annual, for the annual amount, it will be equals to cost of non coined assets, not cost of non coined assets minus residual value over the number of estimated years. Is it clear? Yes. Because we have a residual value. But if you don't have a residual value in your question, then you can place it this way. Is it clear? Yes. What is the residual value again? The value at which you are going to sell that your non coin asset after its useful year. Is it clear? Yes. So look at the question now. They said Kavita. You can write this. Kavita's financial year. Why you not write it? 
financially healthy. Health on healthy gym. You want to keep your back? I can use the uh, There, you are there. There. Right of this point. Stop right. Stop right with this. Stop this. Stop and listen. I said you stop, right? So they said, Capital Financial Year ends on 30 June. On 1 July 23, she purchased this short course in 25,000 and paid by check. She expected that she would be able to use the fixed job for four years and then be able to sell them for 3,000. So, we have our cost to be 25,000. The estimated here to be 4. And the residual value to be what? $3,000. Do you understand up to here? Yes, yes. Great. So, if you have to calculate now, because we have the residual value, which is the same as craft value, the amount we are going to sell it after using it. So our annual depreciation, the annual amount will be equal to cost, 25,000 minus residual value, which is $3,000, divided by the number of years. 25,000 minus 3,000, that's 20 what? 22,000 divided by 4, which is what? 5,500. 5, yes. So this is the annual amount based on the residual value. You don't travel around talking. No problem. Then, the same which calculate as a percentage. So as a percentage, as a percentage, it will be what? The annual amount now, which is 5,000. 500 over the cost 25,000 multiplied by 100. What does that give you? 22%. 22%. Is it clear? Yes. 
Do we get it? Yes. Please write. Then we'll go to the questions in the next time.